Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you're having a blessed and positive day. This is going to be a general read, so it may not res resonate with everyone. Please take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I hope that you find something on this video or any of my other videos that is helpful to you, that is healing to you. Um, this channel is all about healing. So um, there definitely will be something here that you will resonate with. If so, please like, share, uh, comment, and subscribe and join the family. I would love to have you. If you are new here, hey, um, no, if you are new here, I'm sorry. If you are returning, hey, thank you so much for your continued love and support. I really appreciate you and I really hope that the channel is making you smile, giving you uh, some healing tips and good energy, okay? So let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Most high God, we love you and thank you. I call upon the Holy Spirit, the divine ancestors of the highest white light, divine beings of the highest white light, archangels, spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, please come in and connect with me. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what needs to be known at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. Most High God, please anoint and authorize every word that comes from my mouth. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. And please encamp the angels of protection around us. Please and thank you. Ashe. All right. So I was guided to use another book to see what it is that the spirit guides want us to know today. Spirit, please lead me to the message that you want for us. I'm seeing the word reflection and blame. Those are the two words that are coming up right now. Let's see what they want to say. Okay. It says, sometimes we might hear or say encouraging or helpful things to ourselves, but we still have a hard time believing they are true, okay? We might even know them in our heads, but not connect them in our hearts, okay? So this is all about what you see, like I was seeing reflection, okay? what you truly see about yourself okay how can you affirm who you are who you know you are and, and your heart and make your head believe the same okay so this is all about positive affirmation speaking positivity over your life okay things like i got this i am talented i am successful I know that things are working out for me. All is well. I am beautiful. I am enough. Okay? So, it's about reflection. When you see yourself, what do you see? And if you're not, if you feel in your heart that you are beautiful, loving, kind, handsome, smart, okay? Don't allow either your own limiting beliefs about yourself, the blame you've placed on yourself about certain situations to change who you truly are inside, okay? So just as I was saying, reflection and blame, okay? Holy Spirit, what are we going with first? Okay. Holy Spirit. 
right. Creativity. I am creative. Bottom of the deck. I'm using my intuition, okay? Consciousness. I am aware of who I am. Okay? Sadness, okay? Somebody here is is feeling some type of sad energy for some reason and anxiety. Okay? But I was Holy Spirit. Strength. I am strong. Okay? Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so they're telling me that what I'm pulling here right now is the areas that need to be affirmed and whoever it is that I'm picking up on, okay? Somebody is feeling like they're not creative. Somebody is feeling like they're not really hearing the, the their guides, the intuitive hits. Somebody's feeling very weak. Somebody's feeling like they're unaware Okay, somebody is feeling a lot of pain regarding some situation. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody's feeling uh, like they're not in a comfortable place, okay? I feel like this is a lot of projections, yeah? Just as I said that, there's an energy of disruption, okay? Coming at you from all these different areas, okay? I'm hearing cleanse, cleanse and cleanse, okay? What's next, Holy Spirit? Okay. Okay, I, sp I picked up the deck. The bottom is messenger of God, okay? I'm hearing... Okay, both of these. Consciousness and intuition, okay? There's somebody here. Something is telling you. You receive intuitive hits. You receive awareness and consciousness that you are a messenger of God, but you're doubting it. You have someone in your energy that has completely tried to make you shut down your intuition. Somebody who has told you that you're crazy, you're hearing things, you're not really talking to God, you're, you're hearing, you're not hearing the voice of God, and you started to believe that you are crazy, and you're not, okay? Look, I split the deck here. This card says keep practicing and building on your crafts, your business, and your projects. It's in the reverse. This person here that is really creative is not believing because someone is projecting onto you, making you think that you're not creative. Okay, they told me to put that out here. And the messenger as well, which one Holy Spirit? Okay. Yes, look at this. The moon, okay? Lies, false narratives mask hidden secrets this is what the overall energy for this read is okay the reflection that you have of yourself is based on someone else's view of you some hidden agenda that somebody has to make you feel like you're not who you truly are okay Are being divinely guided okay but someone is making you think that you're not I just saw divinely guided as well why is intuition here Holy Spirit why is intuition here okay we got when somebody loves you back in the reverse okay this means someone in your energy is trying to persuade you and make you think that 
there is no equal give and take there is no download coming there is no intuitive hit there is no God and your angels sending you messages the key word is back when somebody loves you back okay this is not coming in what's on the bottom Holy Spirit they feel like they're trying to make you think like you are you're, you love God. You're talking to God, but nobody's talking back to you. Nobody's sending you anything, okay? This is somebody that has a lot of childhood trauma that's projecting onto you. This person could be sent, trying to send dream messages to block your dreams, block your intuition, okay? This person is actively working against you behind the scenes and telling you that you're crazy, but this person knows you have a strong intuition and they're trying to go in your dreams to block it. Look, look what came up after that. You are the alchemist, okay? But it's coming out in reverse. Why? Because you're doubting who you are. You're doubting that you have these intuitive abilities, okay? Again, do something creative in the reverse. Paint, draw, write again. In the reverse. Why? Because somebody's telling you and projecting on you, making you think you're not creative. This person is obsessively stalking you, okay? Your guides want you to do more relaxation, more breathing, more meditation to release this energy. Yeah, exactly. This person got a reading on you and they know who you are. So they made it their life's purpose to make you believe that you are not this messenger, that you are not creative, that you are not intuitive, you are not strong, you are uh, in pain, okay? You're stressed. Give us one more for intuition, please, Holy Spirit. Keep your business to yourself, okay? So somebody here that is highly intuitive, your guides are wanting you not to. There's a particular person in your energy that you are aware of that is trying to use it against you. Keep your business to yourself. Keep your moves to yourself, okay? They're telling me, they're showing me the high priestess. The high priestess was very intuitive, but very quiet. High priestess doesn't say a lot. They just know a lot, okay? Yeah, we got am I dreaming, okay? In the reverse, okay? Again, there's something significant about your dreams, okay? You have a copycat in your energy as well. This person wants to tell you who you're not and then try to be you and try to be the authentic intuitive person or the authentic creative person. Give us one more for creativity, please, Holy Spirit. Why is creativity here? We have humility is key in the reverse. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, you are someone that is very reserved with your talents. You're not boastful. You're not out here posting everything you do every five seconds, okay? So with that, you are not doing as much as you use, usually would like to do creatively. So this person is using this humility, this reservation to make you feel like you're losing your creative abilities. Somebody's really crafty. No, but not as crafty as God. So that's not going to work again. Childhood trauma is on the bottom of the deck. This person is really damaged. Look at this. It was flipped over. You are on the right path. Keep going. Okay. So your guys want you to know that this is nothing but projection. 333, three, three, your angels and ancestors and spirit guides are by your side helping you. Okay. They want you to know that this is nothing but this person projecting, howling at the moon, trying to uh, get the universe to destroy you, okay? 
we got leap the universe is supporting you okay this consciousness okay you are a messenger whoever i'm picking up on you are a messenger you're meant to speak something into this world you are receiving downloads from the most high and you are meant to share them with the world in one way or another okay this person wants to keep you bound okay so that they can harvest off your gifts just me and you okay they want you to feel alone they don't want you to feel connected to god they want you to feel depleted then you become codependent we have divine timing here what else holy spirit give us one more for consciousness holy spirit consciousness why is consciousness here Yep, and my dream and wanted to pop out again in reverse. Okay, this person is doing something, trying to connect in your dreams to make you think you're tripping, to make you think, I must be dreaming. I'm really not hearing from God to confuse you, okay? It's very important that you cleanse your energy. I'm hearing mind control, okay? Think about how far you have come in the reverse. This person does not want you to see how far you come. Look behind it. Growth in reverse. This person wants you to think you're stuck. You're weak. Okay? Focus on your pain. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. Low vibrational people. My goodness. Okay, Holy Spirit. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Okay, do not allow fear to stop you. Keep going. Your guides are saying, despite what this person wants you to think, you are very strong. Do not be afraid of this person. Keep going. Keep going here twice. You're on the right path, okay? You are strong. Blessings pouring down, okay? One of, one of the many blessings is your strength. Your strength is a spiritual gift. This person wants to think you to think that you're not strong. Forget them, folks. Okay? That's what your guys are saying right now. Don't allow this person to make you think you're crazy. This person wants to be close to you. It's in the reverse. This person is being blocked. Okay? Someone here keeps reconnecting with this energy and giving them access to you. And you are in a place of confusion. This is somebody that's close. I feel like this could be somebody in your family, like your immediate family. I feel like your your guys are trying to give you intuitive hits to close, keep your business to yourself, to close the door on a lot of these people. They're drawing my attention to the word close here. Okay, close that door. Take away that key, key is here confirmation okay but someone here just keeps letting these people back in and God is saying no these people are getting comfortable around you taking off your energy God is saying trust yourself okay you're not crazy you are not crazy they're telling me to put this here Let me get one more for strength, please, Holy Spirit. One more for strength. Okay, we got resentment in the reverse. Okay. I feel like this person wants you to come out of this place of um, conflict with this person. This person wants peace. They want reconciliation. They want restoration between the two of you, okay? If you are in a place of resentment, which the Most High doesn't want you to resent this person or anyone else either. They want you to heal but create separation. But if you are letting your guard down, this is why this is in reverse with, when it comes to strength. You're letting your guard down when it comes to this person and giving this person access. And this person is working on trying to weaken you. Okay, star seed in the reverse. Okay, this is you. You are a star seed. This person is trying to convince you that you are not. (sighs) 
Why is pain here, Holy Spirit? Why is pain here? Why is pain here, Holy Spirit? What did I say? Try to make you think you are crazy. Wanting to keep you in this mental anguish, anxiety, sadness, grief, pain, okay? Somebody even wanted you to start trying to hurt yourself, I'm picking up. Wanted you to think you're so crazy and try to take yourself out. Get active, okay? This is your guy saying move out of that energy. Move like lightning out of that energy. Move away from this person. Get active. Actively move. This person is not good for you. You are an angel of love, okay? This person is a mess. Why is pain here, Holy Spirit? Why is pain here, Holy Spirit? Divinely guided path. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have don't explain yourself to anyone. Divinely guided path, okay? And try to make you think you were crazy. Okay, so if this person can convince you that you're crazy, you find yourself trying to explain where you're going okay but they're getting the best of you they're making you think you're crazy this is creating a lot of headaches a lot of stress a lot of I'm feeling like yeah basically trying to just making you think that you're going crazy making you think you're nuts making you think that this is really not really happening this is an illusion okay and this taking you out of a place of comfort. You can't be comfortable. Okay? Look. Health issues. Mental health. Just as I said that. Why is comfort here, Holy Spirit? This person does not want you to have any peace. Yeah, we got to take some time to yourself, okay? This this means that get away from this person. Let this person get this person out of your energy and away from you. This person's access is denied, okay? Your guys are trying to warn you about this person, but if you keep letting them back in, they'll they're going to keep trying to convince you that you're crazy keep doing magic on you under the moon interact with like-minded souls that are high vibrational okay take some time to yourself don't be around these types of people remove yourself okay this will create comfort isolation from this person okay yeah, this person wants to manipulate and control you, okay? So if you remove this type of energy and make sure that you're taking time to yourself to meditate and pray and be around people that are high vibrational, you will restore that comfort in your life. Anything else, Holy? Yep, look at the bottom of the deck. They told me that's a, that's a wrap, okay? Cleanse your energy in your space. Get this person out of your space. That's the first step in cleansing your energy. Okay, do not allow this person near you. If this is resonating with you and you have an idea of who this person is, separate yourself. Move away from this person. This person is doing a number on you right now.
Any other general messages on the spirit? We got divine timing again. This person, I'm seeing in the Wheel of Fortune in my third eye. This person is really digging themselves a huge grave. Okay. Literally and figuratively by what they're doing. Okay. I feel as though the Most High God is wanting to urge you. Okay. Wanting you to realize, thank you, Holy Spirit, how strong you are. Okay. And that you have the ability to get out of this. Okay. Once you cleanse your energy and start getting those intuition, those intuitive hits again, and come back into consciousness, okay, everything's going to change. This illusion of pain is going to dissipate, okay? You'll be more comfortable with where you are. You'll feel strong and more creative and be able to do what it is that you're meant to do. God is just watching this person in divine time and all that will be revealed, okay? All of this disruption that this person is trying to do. Look at this. The next card there was space and then movement. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And ghost, okay? <laughs> it's like, get this person out of your space. This person needs to get ghost, okay? Movement out of your space because they're disrupting you, okay? This person's about to be very angry. And they're going to realize that you were a sweetheart. You were a good person, a kind person that they attempted to destroy. And they will have no choice but to surrender to the Most High God. Because karma is knocking at this person's door right now. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Final messages? You are ready. You have done the work and you got this. This is your guys telling you, you coming up out of this energy. As soon as you clean it, look at this on the bottom of the day. You are surrounded by angels. Okay. You got this. You can come out of this. All you need to do is cleanse your energy. Call upon your angels. They're right there. They're already there just waiting to hear from you. And it's a wrap for this person. I love you all very much. I hope that you enjoyed the message. Until next time, peace and blessings. Be sure that you're cleansing your energies, praying and meditating daily. Until next time, Ashe.